Hi folks, welcome to today's lesson. We're looking at simultaneous equations for the General 2 course, so AM3. Um, now, if you, you can go and look at my other videos on simultaneous equations. This is just specifically, I guess, for um, the General 2 course. But again, it's probably just revision for you anyway. I'm just going to go through basic understanding number one um, of what is it, okay? What is it or why? So, you would have learned quite... Uh, a little while ago, how to draw graphs, obviously, probably about year seven, year eight. Um, and you might have sketched the graph of y equals x. Well, that's that actually. Let's call that y equals x plus one. And then you might have been asked to draw two graphs. Let's say y equals x plus one and the graph of y equals negative x plus one, for example. Um, and then you're asked to find what we refer to as the point of intersection. And so basically what you would do either via a table of values or just sketching it, you look at this graph and go, okay, I can see that's the point 0, 1, and that's the point where um, my two graphs intersect. Well, that's actually what simultaneous equations do does. Okay, It allows us to take these two equations here and without actually... Uh, using um, a graph, so I guess using equations or algebraic form, we can find the value, in this case, case it would be x equals 0 and then y equals 1. So we're looking for that common coordinate, or coordinate for x and y um, where they satisfy both equations. Now there are two specific ways that we do this. Um, the first way we use is a form called uh, substitution and the second Thing we use is a form that we call elimination and again hopefully you'll recognize these two names um, and I have lessons on these indiv individual subjects um, or separate ways but I'm going to hit both ways for this general two course um, so the first way we might have something that looks like this let's say y equals x plus 1 we might have the question um, x plus 2y equals let's say 4. These might not turn out very nice but we'll see how, how it goes. Now you'll get to recognize when to use substitution and when to use elimination. To be honest with you, you can pretty much just choose one and always do that method but it is better to know both because depending on how the question is set up it might make it easier. For example, if I looked at this question, the way this question is set up, I would say this suits substitution a lot more. Why? Well, that's because we've got y equals x plus 1. So we're being told what y is equal to. So if I look at the equation below, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to substitute, which means replace the y value with the x plus 1. So what I'm actually going to do is this. I'm going to have x plus 1. 2. Now the y, instead of having y, I'm going to put x plus 1, and then we've got the equals 4. So all you can see what I've done is I've simply replaced the y or substituted the y with the x plus 1, and then I'm going to solve that. So x plus 2x plus 2 equals 4. Now, I wonder if you know why I replaced that. Hopefully you recognize on its own with the x's and the y's, I'll never be able to actually solve it on its own. By substituting, now I've simply got 3x's plus 2 equals 4. I can then write 3x, I'm going to take the 2 away. 3x equals 2, therefore x equals 2 thirds. And then I've got my solution for x. Now obviously we have two different solutions because I've got an x one and I have to find what my y solution is going to be. So what I can now do, I can go back into one of the two equations. Now to be honest, I'd use the top one because it says y equals. So y equals 2 thirds plus 1, therefore y equals 1 and 2 thirds. And I've now got my y solution. Okay, so that is the method of substitution. So now we're going to use the method of elimination. Now, what I'm going to do for elimination, I'm going to write a different question. x plus y equals 7. I'm going to use the question 2x plus y equals, uh, let's say, 9. Now, first of all, I'm going to address perhaps why I wouldn't use substitution for this question. I mean, I certainly could use it. It's just... It's up to personal preference. See how in these two questions, um, we don't have simply y is equal to. We've got 
x plus y equals 2. Now I could simply say minus the x over and have y equals 7 minus x and substitute into it, absolutely. But we're going to use a format called elimination. Now what does eliminate mean? It means to get rid of. Okay, if you want to eliminate someone, you want to get rid of them. So what we're going to do, we want to look at a letter that is identical, and then I'm going to either add them or I'm going to subtract them to eliminate them. So for example, if I added directly these two equations, which basically means we're going to do x plus 2x is 3x, y plus y is 2y, 7 plus 9 is 16, well that certainly works, except the problem is I've still got x's and y's in there. So if I add these two equations together, that's not really going to help me. What if I subtract the two equations? Well, if I subtract, um, let's start with the bottom one actually. I'm going to call this one, this two. I'm going to do the second equation, subtract the first one, just so I don't get a negative number. So I'm going to do 2x minus 1x. Well, that's just x. y minus y. Well, that's 0. 9 take away 7. Well, that equals 2. Look at that. How nice is that? just comes out with the number x equals 2. I can now sub it back into the top one. I can do it either one, to be honest with you. It doesn't really matter which one I can do it into. I'm going to do the top one. Therefore, 2 plus y equals 7. I'm going to subtract the 2 across y equals 5. And I've got my solution. Now, both these solutions for these two questions, I could write them like this, 2 comma 5. I could write them as um, 2 thirds comma 1 and 2 thirds. It's often nice to pair them together, but certainly you don't have to. Um, okay, let's have a go at some questions now. I'm going to give you two questions. Pause it, see what you can come up with, and then see how you go. Okay, welcome back. Let's see how you've gone. So, it says here to solve simultaneous by elimination. Now, in most of the questions you get in your exams, it'll be your choice. But again, I would choose eliminate. Um, I could... I'll, to be honest with you, yeah, it says elimination. I'd probably do substitution, to be honest with you. But we'll do elimination because that's what the question said. I'm going to write them underneath each other here. Um, so if I eliminate these, I'm either going to add them or subtract them to get rid of them. Remember, that's like a plus zero. That's okay. Um, okay, so if I subtract them, y take away y, yeah, they disappear. So subtract them is going to be a probably good idea here, 1 and 2. So I'm going to do 2, actually I'm going to do 1, take away 2. Now I've done that because the 2x is there, so 2 take away take away 1 is going to be a positive number, so it just makes it a little bit easier. So let's do 1 take away 2. y take away y is 0, 2x minus minus x, well that makes 2 minus minus x is 3x, 3 minus 0 is 3. I'm going to now say 3x equals, I'm going to take the 3 across, minus 3, x equals negative 1. Okay, I'm going to put it back into the, oh, I might do the top one, um, y equals 2 times negative 1 plus 3, y equals negative 2 plus 3, y equals 3 minus 2 is 1. I now have my solution of negative 1 comma 1. Um, the reason I didn't choose the bottom one is you might make a slight mistake. If I put it back in for the bottom one, y equals negative brackets negative 1. Just make sure you get the double negatives. y equals positive 1. It's still the same solution. Now, the question did specify elimination. In the exam, that doesn't happen. You get to choose. If it didn't, I'd actually just use substitution um, because it's set up as... Um, y equals 2x plus 3 and then y equals negative x. I would just substitute the negative x for the y value and put negative x equals 2x plus 3. I'm going to take the 2x across and then get negative 3x equals 3 divided by the negative 3 x equals negative 1, then go from there. But you can see it doesn't really matter which one you do, whichever you feel most comfortable with, okay? All right, this question, again, pause, have a crack at it, and then see what you come up with. Okay, welcome back. Let's see how you've gone. Um, 4x plus y equals 17, x plus 2y equals 13. Now again, I'd probably use an elimination here because there's no y equals or x equals. Um, so I'm going to look for a letter that's identical. 
Now this is a bit of a problem for this question because I have 4x and x. I can't add them to get rid of them. I can't subtract them to get rid of them. That, that doesn't work. The y's are also different. If I add them or subtract them, I've still got y's there. So this causes me a problem. So what can I do? Well, what we can do, I'm going to call this 1 and 2. We can multiply either the second equation by 4. The reason for that, if I do 4 times x, it's 4x. 4 times 2y is 8y. And 4 times 13, well, that's going to be, what, 40, 52. You can now recognize that I have 4x's and 4x's. If I subtract them, they disappear, right? Um, alternatively, you could have times the top equation by 2. And that would have given you 8x plus 2y equals 34. And then you've got the two y's are the same. So it's just up to your personal preference. I'm going to call this 3. Now, we said if I subtract them, I've got the 8y there, which is the biggest one. So I'm going to subtract 1 from 3. So 4x take away 4x is 0. 8y take away 1y is 7y. And 52 take away 17. I don't have my calculator here, so let's have a quick crack. 4, 12 take away 7 is 5, so that's 35. And then y equals 5. So I've got a nice solution there. Now the good thing is I can use any of these three equations to put the back into. I'm going to use the second one because it probably looks the easiest. x plus 2 lots of 5 equals 13. x plus 10 equals 13. Take away the 10 x equals 3. Got my solution. Therefore, my solution is 3 comma 5. Now, had you really wanted to use substitution, what you could have done perhaps is modified the second one. So I'm going to, I'll do this in red perhaps. So I'd modify this one to make x equals 13 minus 2y. And then you could have put that back into 4 lots of 13 minus 2y. Um, plus y equals 17 but you can see that just seems so much more complicated okay so get used to using either elimination or substitution depending on how the question reads as I said if the question is set up like this um, where the x's and y's on the same side then I'd probably use my elimination however if you have a question where you have um, one of the subjects like that so y equals something where you can just chuck it in then in that case I'd use my substitution alrighty um, look I hope that made a bit of sense have a quick crack at some of these questions any problems let me know some of them do get difficult there are times where you might get something like this 2x plus 3y equals 7 you might get 3x plus 5y equals 8 and you have to multiply both equations by a number for example times this whole one by 3 times this whole one by 2 that means I'm going to have the x is going to be the same so that would give me 3 2 to 6 x plus 9 y equals 21 the bottom one will be 3 2 to 6 x plus 10 y equals 16 and now see how the x's are the same so you can subtract them the other thing I didn't say to I didn't show you a question where it was like this x plus y equals 7 um, 2x minus y equals 8 um, We've just done a whole lot of subtraction questions. Um, if you've got one positive, one negative, how do you get rid of them? If I subtract them, that doesn't work. It's y take away, take away y, which is 2y. Um, but if I add them together, that disappears. So I'd add that to 3x and that to 15. But I think you get the drift. Again, any problems, folks, let me know. Um, I hope this made a bit of sense. If it wasn't clear, please let me know, and I can try to adjust things. Have an awesome day.